Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. In our today's simulation task, we will simulate a rigorous distillation column in Aspen Hysis. Our previous two videos were related to the design of shortcut distillation column. And similarly, our this video which is lecture number 19 and the next video which will be lecture number 20 will be related to the design of rigorous distillation column. So going to the problem statement, a feed mixture consists of 60 mole percent benzene and 40 mole percent toluene is fed to the distillation column at 2 bar. The vapor fraction of the mixture is 0.5. The flow rate of the mixture is 100 kg mole per hour. It means we have been given pressure, vapor fraction, composition and flow rate. Following are the parameters provided for the simulation. We have been given the information about the number of stages, feed stage, condenser pressure, condenser type, reboiler pressure, requirement of top product flow rate and percentage purity of top product. So based on this, we have to do the performance analysis of the column. So quickly going to the Aspen Hysis and as you see, I have added these two components, benzene and toluene and since it's a hydrocarbon system, so we will select Pang Robinson. Going to simulation and in separator, this distillation column is placed over here. So we will click it and we will place on the simulation sheet. Now first we will add a material stream and we will fulfill its requirements. Vapor fraction is 0.5, pressure is 2 bar, 100 kg mole per hour, composition benzene 0.6 and for toluene it's 0.4 respectively. And as you see this bar has turned green means it has converged successfully. Now going to the column and as you see, it has a total of five pages of connections. So we will go one by one. I will name it as distillation column. As given in the problem statement, that number of stages are 50, feed stages 25, condenser type is total. This is what we required for the page number one. So it's 50 number of stages stream. We will define it as one and it's 25. As you see, it has selected automatically as 25, the middle stage and it's our requirement as well. Condenser energy stream, I will say it as condenser duty. The condenser type, there are three types of condenser defined here. Total, it means pure liquid is going. Partial, it means some of the vapor and some of the liquid is going. And full reflux means vapor and reflux are producing. So our today's task is to have a condenser type as total condenser. And we will label it as top product. Similarly, Reboiler energy stream, reboiler duty and bottom product. So once after doing the connections over here, this next step has been activated and we have given stage numbering top down. Like this stage is 1, 2 and so on. So clicking on next, reboiler configurations. Once through circulation without baffle, circulation with baffle. Since we are doing our first exercise on rigorous distillation column, so we will select it as once through and regular physis reboiler. Clicking next, we have to give the values of pressure. What is the condenser pressure and what is the reboiler pressure? So I will take you back that the condenser pressure is 1.9 bar and reboiler pressure is 2 bar. 1.9 and 2 bar. Again going to next. Optional estimates that you can give estimates of temperature of condenser and reboiler. If you do not have these values, you can just click next. Now the liquid rate. We have been given the information that the top product flow rate is 60 kg mole per hour. We have to make sure that the flow basis is smaller and 60 units are kg mole per hour. Click OK. And as you see, done option has been activated. We have not been given the information about the reflux ratio. So we cannot specify this value over here. Clicking done. And as you see, this is still unconverged. If I click run over here, it will give me the option that one or more specifications in the column flow sheet are not fully defined. It means that we have to define one more parameter. First parameter which we have defined is the distillate flow rate. Now the second parameter which we have to define is given in our problem statement. It is asking for reflux ratio. But we have no information about the reflux ratio. What is the second information? That top product contains 99% benzene and 1% toluene. So going to monitor tab and we will add spec over here. And what will be this specification? It will be column component fraction. And now 
in parameter as you can see name component fracture stage currently its stage is active but we have to go to stream because we are concerned with the top product stream we are not concerned with any stage so we will select stream now as you can see draw stream so it means its top product basis mole fraction and what is the requirement that it should be 0 0.01 we will specify the minimum value which is the value of toluene over here land components we will specify toluene so this is how to fill a specification here as well that first we need to define the stream if we are giving the values of component fraction then the draw stream and then the specification value now as you see in active tab the flux ratio is activated and distillate rate is activated distillate rate will remain active but since we are not given the information about the reflux ratio so we will unactivate and as you can see the degree of freedom has become one it means that it requires one more parameter to converge so what we will do we will click component fraction and as you see it has converged successfully the bar has automatically turned green so as you see the temperature profile has been established but our first task is to check that whether our requirement has been met or not first requirement was that top product flow rate should be 60 kg mole per hour which is met and second requirement was that the top product contains 99% benzene and 1% toluene which has also met during the exercise it means that our column has converged successfully and is meeting our required specifications in this exercise we have just given the specification of our top product but in our next case we will specify requirements for both top product and bottom product so going back to design tab and temperature profile has been established over here temperature versus strip profile similarly you can click it to pressure profile flow profile as well so going to performance tab because our task was to do the performance analysis as you can see the flow rate is 60 it's approximately 40 with the compositions similarly you can go to column profiles and you can see the reflux ratio has been computed which is 1.749 and the boil up ratio has been computed as well and you can see the temperature pressure flow profile across each ray in this column the condenser and reboiler pressure temperature and flows are also mentioned over here and their duties are mentioned as well that the reboiler duty is 8.052 multiplied by 10 raised to power 5 kilocalories per hour while that of condenser is 1.163 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 similarly you can go to feed products and you can see the values as well you can go to plots and you can click on view graph to see the temperature profile similarly you can select pressure and view graph check the pressure profile and similarly you can check all the profiles over here as well similarly you can check the condenser and reboiler duties over here as well the flow rates as well the pressure and temperature in condenser and reboiler so that was our today's exercise related to the rigorous design of distillation column in aspenhysis we have not varied pre efficiency in this exercise as well we will do this task in our next video so please do watch the video like the video share with others and subscribe the channel aspentech till then it's goodbye stay tuned